Hey friends, Justin here with a review of the A24 release, the Green Knight. It took me two settings uh, to, to get through it, not because it was bad, but because the cinematography and the surreal visuals are so dreamlike that uh, I found myself last night drifting off and then I completed it today. Um, this was directed by Mike Lowry, it stars Dave Patel. A24, the studio that is responsible for this, has brought us things like Moonlight in 2017, Lady Bird, Midsummer, and Hereditary. So they're really, to me, they're the one shop in town that is really trying original filmmaking. Um, Arthurian legend, if you'll follow my logic, over the last 30 years, the films that have been released have been released to more and more diminishing returns. So it's ambitious just in the undertaking for A24 to tackle um, the Green Knight or Arthurian legend, which is, you know, part of our original oral tradition from the 14th century. Um, so many interesting things to dissect and to look at just in the ambition of the, the filmmaking, but uh, Gawain is a knight in the uh, court of King Arthur, trying to curry favor with Arthur, um, trying to become an honorable man, you know, without any merit. His mother, Morgan Le Fay, who was the wife of, or not the wife, but the uh, sister of Arthur, is also, you know, seeing the best in Gawain, uh, seeing his potential, and not seeing him for who he really is. This is a Camelot that is beyond its Prime. It's beyond its, uh, you know, glory days. And Gawain, um, you know, essentially tricks Arthur, who only sees virtue and kindness in people, into thinking that he's ready for, you know, the, to, to step up and to face the, the Green Knight and, you know, to his own detriment. And, you know, unfortunately his mother, who I think summoned the Green Knight, is under the illusion that this is going to build character in Gawain. He has an opportunity all along this incredible journey to show his honor, to show kindness, to show friendship uh, to the fox, you know, kindness to the young traveler that was stranded and basically had to beg for his help. And every test along the way to be a knight, to be an honorable man, he, he failed. So to Arthur, who could only see virtue, who could only see truth and, and honor, the game of the Green Knight, um, you know, to return blow for blow uh, 12 months hence, um, it was a game because he was an honorable man. But for Gawain, this was, you know, uh, because he couldn't live up to the man that he thought he was, this was the... the possibly the end of the road. So I thought the cinematography was just stunning. I, I'm, I can't wait to watch it again just to get lost in this fantasy world that I just loved being in. Um, I love the diversity of the cast. I think, you know, from Dev Patel to St. Winifred, this was diversity done right, where it didn't take you out of the, the film whatsoever. I'm just looking over my, my notes to see if there's anything else there. But um, yeah, he basically showed no honor for the, his entire life and, and ultimately, you know, paid the price and, and gave his life as one honorable act um, as he realized, you know, that who and what he truly was. And that was really striking and, and interesting to me, that it took him to see who he truly was to finally be able to lay his life down. Have you guys seen The Green Knight by A24? I just thought it was tremendous. Leave me your thoughts below if you have or if you're interested in watching it. And as always, give this video a like, a comment, and please consider subscribing for more. See you soon. Bye.